morning class 8 c today we're going to revise the chapter elements compounds and mixtures in this we'll discuss about the important terms and topics related to the chapter uh, so for example first topic is element an element cannot be broken down into simpler substances by any physical or ordinary chemical means so element is a simpler substance which cannot be broken down by any physical or chemical means Whereas, a compound is made up of two or more elements chemically combined in a fixed ratio. So, a compound is made up of two or more elements which is combined in a fixed ratio. Say, for example, in water, H2O, the ratio of hydrogen and oxygen is 2 is to 1. So, it is fixed. Similarly, for carbon dioxide, CO2, the ratio of carbon and oxygen is 1 is to 2. Next, a mixture. A mixture consists of two or more substances in any proportion such that they do not undergo a chemical change. So, a mixture consists of two or different substances, two or more different substances in any proportion. That means their quantity is not fixed, such that they do not undergo any chemical change. Now, there are uh, different methods of separation of solid, liquid, solid, solid, uh, liquid, liquid mixtures. Say, for example, Hand picking, sieving, winnowing, magnetic separation, and sublimation are the methods by which the constituents can be separated from solid solid mixture. So, if you have got a solid solid mixture of two different substances, you can separate by these methods. Next, insoluble solids can be separated from solid liquid mixtures by techniques such as sedimentation and decantation, loading and filtration. So, if you have got an insoluble solid, that means a solid which does not dissolve in liquid. They can be separated by methods like sedimentation, decantation, loading and filtration. Next, solid liquid mixtures having soluble solid constituents can be separated by evaporation, crystallization and distillation. So, if you have got a soluble solid in a solid liquid mixtures, they can be separated by evaporation. We can carry out the process called evaporation or crystallization and distillation. Next. The constituents of liquid-liquid mixtures can be separated by fractional distillation or by using a separating funnel. So, if you have got a liquid-liquid mixtures, they can be either separated by fractional distillation or by using separating funnel. If you have got uh, liquids which easily mix, they are called miscible liquids. They are separated by fractional distillation and if you have got the liquids, which are not miscible like oil and water they can be separated by separating funnel to this assignment assignment 11 question number one air and tear, tap water or mixtures explain question number two differentiate between elements compound and mixtures question number three name the methods of separation kerosene and water alcohol and water camphor and common salt so you need to name the methods for by which we can separate these two substances and question number four define an alloy complete this assignment and send it in my mail